it's good afternoon. <laughs> and look, I'm not going to make the video over. So, good afternoon, dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Good afternoon. Much blessings to you. All glory goes to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Giving glory and honor to God on today. Um, taking a quick lunch. And yes, I'm working from home. Um, our job did give us the office, give us the option to come back to the office, but that's for those who want to work there. And um, we have the option to work from home till May. So me personally, instead of driving way downtown, because I live in Illinois, so instead of driving way downtown, I'm choosing to work from home still. It's still really busy a lot of the times. And I'm taking me like a 15 minute break. So just wanted to make a video super duper fast about um, watching who we surround ourselves with. Basically, um, I want to give my testimony. And my testimony happened in 2015 with my best friend. He was a male and he um, passed away. We were hanging out. Again, this was in probably 2014, 2015. And we were hanging out and um, we went to breakfast. And After breakfast, he was like, well, you know, come to my job. So I went to his job for a few minutes, and we just chit-chatted in the car. He was like, well, why don't you just hang out a little longer? We can just chill over here. I'm like, no. I knew, you know, I didn't like hanging around him that much because I knew he was into the street life, meaning he was a drug dealer and all that stuff. So I was like, no, you know, I'm going to just call it a day and, you know, it was my off day. I said, I'll check you later. Again, this was my friend. One of my best friends. So, he was like, okay, or whatever. And I left. And literally two hours later, I saw on the news that a male was shot at the tow trunk, the, at, a, at a tow company. And I said, and they said the age of the person, but they didn't say the name. And I'm not going to say his name either. So I just thought it was weird. I'm like, wow, I had just left him around me. I wonder, I'm hoping that's not, you know, my friend at that time, my best friend. So I was messaging him and calling him and texting him. And I wasn't getting any response, right? I started to get worried. Because I'm like, the address, is that's where I just left. You know, we had went to breakfast, then we went to his job. And I only stayed there literally, literally probably about a good 10 minutes. Fortunately, I had drove my own car. And I just thought it was weird. And then finally, like an hour later, they released the name. And I ended up driving past there and I seen police. And, and I was like, oh my God, is that? you know, such and such. And it was, it was my best friend. And I'm saying this testimony just to say for the new followers on here, I know I gave this testimony many, many months ago, but I know it's a few people on here now that might not have scrolled way back down. So um, I'm saying that to say we definitely have to watch who we surround ourselves with. Um, if people are doing drugs and are into the gangs and all type of stuff, it doesn't matter if you're not into it or not. And at that time, I was not into that lifestyle. But my friend was. It doesn't matter, though. Because if you're caught with them, then guess what? <laughs> they're going to just shoot. They don't, they're not going to care who's with that person. Nine times out of ten, do you think they're going to take the time and be like, wow, well... You know, she's, she's with them. Don't do it. No, they don't care. They're waiting for the perfect opportunity. A couple of months later, um, I end up finding out on the news that um, he was being followed for like two weeks straight. So obviously, they saw me with him that day. He was killed as well. 
And it was nothing but the mercy and grace of God that, um, that he, God's protection over my life. Because just think if I would have stayed with him at his job that morning, you know, they would have shot me too or who knows. But um, anything could have happened. I could have lost my life too. You think they're going to care that I was sitting next to them? They, they wouldn't have cared. So I'm just saying that to say... God's mercy endureth forever, and he has a purpose for us all. And we definitely have to watch who we hang around with. And I'll never forget telling him at breakfast that day, I was like, you know, you really need to get out of the street life. You need to stop doing this and that. You know, you got a family. And I think his words were, you know, well, I'm going to die in these streets. And some people speak that on them and some people choose to live that life some people you know love the fast money and that's exactly what he had fast money nice cars nice houses he had it he had it all but in the end it gained nothing and if he didn't repent before he passed I'm sure we all know what the end result was. So that's why we have to be careful what we do in this life because we can gain the whole world and get all these riches and fancy cars and homes and then in the end we die and then boom, little do you know, we still got a soul. So we're going to be judged for everything we did. And after death is the judgment. So I'm just saying that to say God had mercy on me. And that's my testimony to you guys. Just to be careful who you hang around. People are always watching. And if that person or friend you're hanging around is into a devilish lifestyle, is into the streets and drugs, eventually it comes back to hunt them. And a lot of times, especially nowadays, in Illinois, they don't care who the person is sitting next to. They'll shoot you and them. So... Just wanted to share that testimony on how God protected my life. Um, rest in peace to my best friend. Always will forever love you. And hopefully you guys take something away from this message just to watch who you hang around. Okay? I love you guys with the love of Jesus. Don't forget to pray. Don't forget to repent. Give your lives to Jesus today. Our lives are so short and we never know when our time is up. Much blessings to you all. Peace.